Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, make sure you join the family and subscribe. Oh my god, it's actually been a minute. I missed you guys. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. So yeah, if it's your first time here, just, you know, let's just take a minute for you to subscribe. And if it's not your first time here and you're not subscribed, I am so totally judging you, like I always say. So let me just give you one second to just, you know, get it, get it over with, like just Okay, yeah, so, um, yeah, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. It's been a hot minute. I'm so sorry that I've kind of been gone for a hot minute. Well, probably one or two weeks, but yeah. Um, so today I, today, I am actually starting a series. I've been planning this for a while, and now I'm starting a series regarding med school and um, anything related to med school, especially in China. With everything that's going on, I think, you know, people who really want to get into the medical field should kind of be as well informed as they can be. These are things that I definitely, definitely think I should have known before I even considered coming here. And also, I hope this really helps you guys. I hope this really helps some of you guys when you decide to come to China, especially for med school. I hope it prepares you and it also helps you make your decision. So yeah, so today's video, which is the first video of this series, we're gonna talk about choosing your university, which is probably the biggest thing. So you've decided you wanna go to China. I wanna help you know how to choose your university so let's just get right into the video and okay so you've you've kind of thought about it and you're thinking about coming to china and so you really don't know how to apply to a university you you don't know anything about it um and you know you want to be a med student so to help you these are a few things that i think you should definitely definitely look into way before you make your decision way before you make your decision about going to china for medical school these are things that will probably affect you once you have graduated so the earlier you are aware of these things the better so the first thing is accreditation make sure you are choosing a university that is accredited for the medical degree that you are trying to get. Most degrees here for medical school are MBBS programs, which is Bachelors of Medicine and Bachelors of Surgery. And so accreditation, you have to make sure your school is accredited and the program that you're trying to apply to is also accredited. So how do you check that? You can check these two um, websites that I'm gonna link down below. The first one is IMED, IMED, and then the second one is ECFMG. ECFMG is like um, it's like a website where you can you can you can browse through and find the university that you're interested in, and if they are accredited by ECFMG, then you'll see the university on their website, and you'll also see your um, you'll also see your program. So let's say you want to enroll in like a medical degree in Chinese. If you don't see it on ECFMG, then it is not accredited worldwide. So that's a very, very important thing. You really, really need to make sure that your school is accredited. You would think that these are things that are obvious, like obviously if this program is being offered, it's going to be accredited anywhere in the world. But really, that's not the case. In China, there's a lot of, you know, <laughs> things. So it might be accredited here, but it's not accredited in your country or in your country in the country that you hope to practice in so that's the first thing make sure your university is accredited the second one is choosing your program like i mentioned before um there is mostly most of the universities in china offer mbbs programs instead of md programs md programs i really really don't know 
any university that really offers this probably in hong kong but that's a whole different system like i say um but mbbs is your way to go so you have two choices you have mbbs in english and you have um, the equivalent of MBBS in Chinese. Now, if you're scholarship sponsored, which is something I'll talk about later on too, you will most definitely have to do it in Chinese. But if you're self-sponsored or if you're sponsored by some other organization where you can actually choose your own program, um, I would definitely recommend that you choose to study in English. Do not study in Chinese if you don't have to. Chinese programs are definitely slightly a bit cheaper than the MBBS ones in English, but it is not worth it. So I would definitely say if you have the choice, that's my personal opinion, but anyone who goes to medical school here would probably tell you the same thing. If you do have the choice between English and Chinese, definitely choose English. Um, university entry requirements. Now, this is something that I really think I should have definitely known before I, I decided um, to come study here. Um, you would think, well, in other countries, in East African countries, which is where I'm from, in, you know, European countries and all these other countries, for you to get into med school, it's really, really tough. You go through interviews, you go through exams, you go through a lot of things for them to really see that you are fit for medical school. In China, however, it's not always the case. So you will most definitely get in within two or three days of you applying in a wide range of universities. And that's not a good thing because it doesn't really show how serious the school is. So I would definitely recommend you to opt for schools that are harder to get into because you will definitely have a much better experience with those schools. Um, that's my personal opinion on that. So you should definitely look into the requirements. The higher the requirements, usually the better the university in, in terms of teaching and everything else that you'll have to go through in that school. Um, I think the higher the requirements, the more serious they are about um, you know foreign foreign education educating foreign students so that's that's a very very important um point which i think you should definitely definitely be careful about to so be careful and be careful about these universities that tell you like yeah apply and then um not universities agents agents that tell you oh apply and we'll give you your um your your visa everything everything within two or three days and it's like you're going to med school you should not be accepted in two or three days but it is china so you should definitely be aware of that and be wary of that and do more research if you come across a university or an agent that suggests something like that to you the easy way is not always the best way. So the fourth thing, internship options. This is very important. So you're looking into your medical school program and you're looking for, you know, you're looking through your programs, you're doing your research about your schools, you're doing your research about the programs that they offer. So usually MBBS is set up in a way that uh, you study for five years. If it is in English, you study for five years. And then the last year is an internship year. So now you should definitely, definitely look into your internship options. Some schools in China will, will give you options to um, do your internship year here. And they don't, it's not an, it's non-negotiable. It's only here in their own teaching hospitals. Some schools will give you the choice of going back to your country for that intern year. And some schools will give you the choice of having half, half here and half in your country or any country that you desire to actually go and do your intern year in. So now when you look into that, I will definitely later on talk about internships as a whole, but for this one, I would definitely recommend you to choose to do your internship, choose a university that has more options, that isn't only set on you working here for your internship. 
I'll be I'll I'll be more detailed about this in uh, another video where I'll definitely only talk about internships but for now I definitely think that you choosing a university that gives you the choice of either staying here or going to your home country or any other country that you wish to practice in is probably a better choice for you and I'll explain why in another video like I already said Scholarships, this is a, a big topic. You can definitely look into different scholarship options. So for you to come in China, there's different ways you can come here. You can come here through your government, and that's like a government um, paired with a Chinese government scholarship that basically allows you to come here and study under you know this agreement between your country and Chinese and the Chinese government. Um, for that, you definitely don't have a choice when it comes to medical school undergraduate. You're definitely going to have to do it in Chinese. They do require it for undergrads. Um, if you're a master's student, then that's a whole different thing. You can actually choose your language, but we're talking about medical school right now. So yeah, so that's the first uh, scholarship option that there is so this one you 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 do have to apply for it from the get-go you really do have to go through your ministry of education from the get-go your chinese embassy from the get-go and yeah um from there on i would say others there's other different scholarship options but once you have decided to be self-sponsored this isn't always guaranteed so um yeah, sometimes depending on where your school is located, depending on where what province you're located, there are some provincial scholarships that are usually available sometimes. Um, these are not like very, very, they're not very available. Like they're not out there for you to just grab. However, it really depends on where the university is located, what city, um, what the province is doing for foreigners and things like that. And then there's also excellent scholarships, which can also be given. But um, I think the most common one, the one that is most available is the one where you actually get from the get go from your government. The rest, um, you really have to just see what your school has to offer once you've already gotten at the school and that's not guaranteed for sure. Um, so yeah, some schools do give more, um, some schools do give more scholarships than others. The last thing I think you would definitely consider is affordability or the tuition of the school, which says a lot about the school, but also doesn't really say a lot about the school. So usually um, med schools in China vary in prices. They can go from 18,000 RMB to like 60,000 RMB. Um, most will be below 40,000 RMB for sure. And I would definitely say when it comes to prices, you, you really have to look at what you're willing to spend for your medical school. And um, usually the higher end the university, the more expensive it is. But again, I think don't just look at the price and be like, oh, because it's an expensive school, it's going to be a good school. Um, I think you should definitely look into all the other things that I mentioned before. And yeah, so those are some of the things that I definitely think would help you in choosing what universities you want to go through to in China if you do decide to be a medical student. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really liked it. And I hope you guys can stay tuned for the rest of this series. I'm really excited about this series. I really want to share so much information, especially with everything that's just been going on here and the education and everything i think if someone is considering to come study here they should definitely be as well informed as they can be about what's gonna happen once you get here so yeah i really hope this helps you guys in making your decisions and i hope you also stay tuned for the rest of this series see you guys bye